Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. So I made a gift basket for my friend a few months ago and I got Pinkly Page because it was like a pink themed gift basket. But when she arrived, I opened her up and she looked like this. I was so confused. I never got an Amazon package that looked like this. She looked like she was played with. She had a stain on her face or whatever. I was gonna return her, but then I had the idea of restyling her, but having you guys vote on her restyle. We ended up amassing over like 200 votes. So thank you guys for that. I thought that was really cool i didn't expect that many people to put in a vote but guys i'm ready to announce not only the winner for the restyle but also the winner of the giveaway that i was doing so how i did it was i selected one person of the winning team and that winning team was y2k i know it's probably not a shocker for a lot of you it's actually a big shocker for me i have no idea but i i, I don't know why but i thought that the bubble braid one was gonna win uh, I didn't expect Y2K because she has a very soft and delicate kind of aesthetic to her. So I, I had to switch it up. This was a little, a little bit of a challenge, but overall, I really do like the way she ended up turning out. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. And here we go. So let's do a little drum roll. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the winner of the giveaway. Um, I i kind of botched this process a little bit because i was supposed to hide everyone's email so i, I guys i apologize for that please excuse me i want to make sure i do that properly the next time but this person if you're watching you have exactly a week from now to respond to the email if you don't respond i'm going to spin the wheel again and choose somebody else but thank you all guys so much i really appreciate it this was a fun little thing to do i think it was like a little bit of a detour for what i've done in the past but yeah guys thank you so yeah they sent me this atrocity of a doll well she was actually not an atrocity she she actually has a really pretty face and i didn't know it but this doll is super thick I mean, the girl got some hips, but it's kind of weird because she still has a thigh gap. But yeah, her clothes don't really fit other Rainbow High dolls because of how wide her hips are. And her chest bone and chest plate and everything is all wider than normal as well. That was pretty cool. You can also see like right here, she has a collarbone. It's all cool, but uh, it kind of sucks when you're trying to fit her in other like Rainbow High doll clothing. Now, thankfully, her part line was not messed up in the process of her being tossed around, play with, and stumped on, or whatever happened to her. So that was all good, and I knew from this point on that I was going to do a restyle that was, you know, workable with this part line. And um, yeah, I'm using this shampoo and conditioner, you know, nothing new, the huge. I wonder when I got that conditioner bottle, because I feel like it's been over a year. I, actually, I think it has been over a year. I don't know, but I use it myself, so I wouldn't be surprised. But um, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> what have you guys been up to? What have you been collecting? What have you been interested in lately? For me, I have honestly have been really bored with the doll industry. I just feel like nobody's pushing the limits anymore. And it's just, I, I, when I came in, unfortunately, I was kind of spoiled because, like I said, when I came in, Rainbow High was really big. And we had the two outfits, the high quality. We had the nice hair. We had the beautiful face-ups, the inset eyes. And I just feel like that type of... Um, um, innovation is not being done anymore and it's really sad but I did know and I said this you know time and time again especially back then that that whole system of you know MGA releasing dolls wasn't going to continue because it was just it seemed like it was really expensive to do I mean I look back at these dolls even to this day I look at the dolls on my shelf and I'm like the quality is astounding even compared to new dolls that are released now even a lot of monster high dolls like the collector ones those don't even compare to the baseline rainbow high dolls from two years ago so you know they really set the bar high and i'm just happy that at the end of the day i got a chance to experience them when i did but it's unfortunate because i wish that people who are just getting into dolls and people who really care about them and care about fashions and things like that i i, I would have hoped that they got a chance to experience that too but it is what it is you know it's a new day everything evolves and nothing lasts forever but um yeah i just find myself really bored i would say and i and i want something exciting i want something new and fresh and i just don't feel like i'm getting that i i am i don't know if my scene 
is going to be reproduced or not but i'm not going to dwell on that um but that was one of the more exciting things for me i actually been seeing a lot of like barbie things stepping it up i'm i'm, I'm shocked i'm a little taken aback at how good some of the barbie dolls these days look i, I might get into those i got an email about some uh new ones that are coming i think i missed the drop because you know i gotta wait till i get paid um but they were like 75 dollars. but that you know that's another thing that i want to talk about these dolls are getting too expensive you know for one outfit i don't think a doll should be 75 dollars. it's just it's ridiculous it's too much and at the end of the day it's like even if the there are collectors buying and paying for the stuff come on i mean kids want to get the collector ones too like i feel like back then it wasn't that hard for a kid to get their hands on a collector doll but i wouldn't know you know i'm, I'm still fairly new to all this well i'm not really new but i don't really know like the full history of doll releases and everything like that but yeah I, i'm just really frustrated like i don't want to spend a hundred dollars on a doll and especially like I, I pointed out on my well i didn't point it out but i posted the new dolls on my instagram the ariel and like the new disney princesses dolls but I would only be able to get one of them because they're so expensive, you know what I mean? The idea of spending almost $200 for just two dolls, it's just, it, it, it's, a, it's a bit much for me, you know, but I'm hopeful that one day we can all afford such things. <laughs> but yeah, um, beyond that, I, like I said, there's not much that I'm super interested in, you know, I'm not going hard for anything right now. I'm just kind of being creative and doing my own thing. This was nice to do after a while of not doing a restyle. Uh, I hope you like it. I, I really like the way it turned out, but I never really expect everyone to like everything that, that I do. So it is a what it is. But um, yeah, I really want to go on like hikes and stuff like that. That's like where I see the next chapter of my life. I'm kind of out of like the partying era and like drinking and smoking and all that. I'm just kind of over it, you know? Maybe I'll like revisit those things in the future. But for now, I'm just really looking forward to connecting more with, you know, life and nature and god and everything it's really what has brought me to peace and i i feel like i was really fighting this is getting deep real fast <laughs> but i want to tell you guys i feel like i was fighting like a real spiritual war um when i was working at my job and so i'm so thankful to the universe that i was able to take this time these couple of months away to really just recoup and, and understand what it is that i need but I'm so fresh minded and I feel more free spirited and, and open and so lightweight now. There's no heaviness on me. There's no heaviness on my shoulders. You know, it's, it's crazy, but it's a part of life. But this is a part of life that I didn't expect to come. I didn't expect to live through this, but I'm so happy that I did. And even though my time there wasn't the easiest, I'm so thankful that I've gone through it because if I didn't go through it then I would have had to go through it at some point in the future and I just didn't want to do that. So right here, I'm sorry for going on that whole tangent, but right here, I'm just going through some of her clothes because like I mentioned earlier, uh, she has a really soft aesthetic, but I didn't feel like this hairstyle would have matched that, that outfit, her original outfit. So I really wanted to, you know, bring my own outfit together and I just really ultimately ended up with like a juicy couture I still can't say that word. <laughs> I just ended up with that type of outfit, you know, the, the tracksuit, you know, with the black pants. I love it. I really do. It's simple. It's cute. I feel like her look reminds me of the Y2K. I was going for like the chunky blocks or whatever. What is that called? Like the, the chunky black streaks in the hair? I don't know. I saw it on TikTok and I thought it was cute. So that's what I was going for. I did think that that silver clip would have been really cute. And I was going to go for like a silver look instead of the gold. But there was just too many gold things and the track suit was gold. And I'm not really one to mix gold and silvers together because I feel like it's just a little confusing. Her hairstyle is already a lot as it is. I just didn't want the colors to overshadow that. And um, yeah, I, I ended up bedazzling the little hair clip, which is cool. I've never really done that before. I, I went all out for her, you know? I did more than what I normally do. I even put some lip gloss on her. I put some accessories in her hair, as you'll see later. And right here, I'm just making sure that, you know, those two tendrils are as flat as possible. That's why I turned the straightener all the way up because it was just the backside of the straightener. I would never turn it all the way up to use on any hair, maybe except for my own. Speaking of, I, I would like to see what I look like with straight hair. I've never seen myself with like a full head of straight hair. I think it would be so weird. And probably super thin because I have super thin and fine hair. 
I really want to go live again to talk to you guys because I feel like it's been so long. And I feel like, you know, it's a matter of how I feel about like my own self and, you know, my self-confidence and stuff like that. That's what really prevents me from showing my face on camera. I just don't want to be looking at myself and be seeing, you know, the cringe and stuff. So it is what it is. But hopefully I'll come back soon and talk to you guys live. I really do miss it. I, and I love talking to my people. Um, mi gente. <laughs> I just learned that today. Well, I've always known, but I it was verified today through another YouTuber that I watch. But yeah, well, who are some YouTubers that you guys watch like beyond the dog community? I'm curious because I've been looking and, and scouring the internet for like different kinds of content. Because like I said, I'm really bored with everything. So yeah, leave that in the comments below. As we're approaching the end, I'm adding some embellishments and some little hair decorations and stuff. Just like a little bit of, you know, well, actually a lot of random little pieces that I could find. Um, I would have, you know, pre-ordered everything if I had known which aesthetic was going to win. Um, but yeah, I see a little belly ring and stuff. She's giving 90s for me, you know. She's like a hybrid of what I think a girl today would look like and a girl back then would look like. She actually looks like my friend. That's why I was going to give her this doll. But yeah. This is the beginning, the before, and this is the after. I, I don't know why I did that. I don't really like the blunt cuts of, you know, the black hair, but it doesn't bother me too much. I love it. I really do. I know it's a little jarring at first to look at, like, the contrast with the black and the pink. But the top half of the head is really, <laughs> that's really the star of the show. And I'm so happy. And I'm so thankful that she turned out the way that I hoped that she would. I love the black streaks and the bang. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't complain. I hope that you like her as well. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video um i love you guys so much never really know what to say at the end of these videos but i hope to see you soon and i hope to go live again soon i might go live this weekend after i shave <laughs> because yeah this is a bit much thank you guys for everything i really do appreciate it. i appreciate you guys being here along this journey with me i don't know what i would be doing and where i would be without you the support is crazy the amount of comments and messages that i get from people who are just so supportive and it's almost like i don't even know how to respond to the support that i get it's overwhelming but i will never take it for granted so thank you guys for everything i love you and hope to see you soon have a, a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week i will talk to you later bye